Dacha Hao, Wosha Michael Larson, Wosha Nima you. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Larson from BBC IML, and this is a moment with Mike uh, here by the shores of Long Lake. I really like hiking around Long Lake in the morning, but you can see that it's cool here today. So cool that the lake is warmer than the air and getting a little bit of mist coming off the lake. But uh, even Lake Superior is uh, creating a little bit of mist. It's been drizzling here a little bit, but uh, I'm about all five, six miles from uh, Lake Superior right here. But today I was talking, I want to talk about a message that I had sent out the other day. Um, uh, how do you tell good friendship? And uh, Leslie had a great uh, take. In fact, there were so many great takes. Every time I do this, there are really good takes from a lot of people. But uh, this, she had a really good take and it's unconditional unconditional friendship and it's the same with friendship or romantic love in my opinion the difference between the two obviously is romantic love there's a partnership there that you probably at a level that you're not going to get with friendship and you shouldn't and of course there's intimacy with uh, romantic love that you, sh you wouldn't be getting from friendship but unconditional love goes on both of them and what does unconditional love mean it means you give to the other person because you care about them, expecting nothing back, absolutely nothing back. And if the other person reciprocates and gives back to you, then you've got true friendship, you got true love. If you give something to somebody else because you want to win their friendship back, that is not friendship, that's not love either. That is horse trading, and that isn't that. That's not free will, in my opinion. So I always get a kick out of uh, relations. I feel bad actually for relationships where, where they say, "Well, I I need to do this for them so they'll love me more. I'll I need to do this for them so they'll like me more." Not the way it works. That's that's buying. That's purchasing. That's that's horse trading. It does. It just doesn't work that way. The friendship, the love should already be there. And you do th things for the other person because you expect nothing back. I read a book uh, by Bill O'Reilly called Who's Looking Out For You? And that really changed my outlook on, on friendship. You know, there's, there's acquaintances and then there's friendships. And a true friend you should be able to count on no matter what. They should have your back. They would go to war with you. When you ask them for help, they don't say uh, how, they say when, and, uh, and, and they run to you immediately. That's the type of friendship. And you do the same thing for them. If they need your help, you're there. It's, there are no questions asked. And those are the type of friends we have to have in our life. People that really add to us instead of taking away from us. They add to our purpose. If you can't see somebody as adding to your purpose, then they shouldn't be among your circle of friends and you should be able to add to their purpose and it should be unconditional you don't expect anything back now if you're not getting something back from the other person you might start to question how much of a friend they are i understand that but you never go into it expecting something back you're always giving in the relationship so but there was lots of comments loyalty um there and and uh just so many good comments all the way through there, but loyalty is probably the biggest one. And uh, if you haven't seen that that post, uh, there's a lot of great ones to read through on there. But that's my take on, on friendship. It should be unconditional. Love should be unconditional. You give without expecting anything back. If they give back, then you got true friendship and true love. So I hope this finds you well. Have a super fantastic day. Uh, if you like what I'm talking about, look for my other posts on Facebook. Every evening at 7 o'clock, I do Facebook Live. I'd appreciate uh, everybody coming on for that. If you have something you'd like me to go over, just email me at mikeandinspiredmotivatorleadership.com or you can text me on Messenger or put a message on Facebook or on uh, Inspired Motivated Leadership. I also have Refined Joy and MJ Design. But have a super fantastic day and we will talk soon.